Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you are back with Transport Fever Peninsula where we are sat on the docks in Rapture, outside Rapture. By Rapture is where we're sat, on the docks. And there's a passenger ship coming in right about now uh, that should be bringing us lots of lovely passengers. Uh, because, uh, well, if it doesn't then this route is a load of old rubbish, isn't it? Uh, as you can see, we've got a few people that are anxious to go to Waterdeep. Don't know why, there's nothing there. Uh, but we've got nine on the way in. Now, that I don't think is going to make this a profitable old soldier. Uh, well, we'll have a look. It's, it's something going to take a couple of seconds to arrive. Or we'll give it the benefit of the, uh, of the studious analysis as it parks up about now. And in, in your own time. Come on. There's, a, there's people watching, but don't let that hold you back. 64 and a bit grand we made there less than its running cost but it's running quite empty so uh, so when the 18 arrives at the other end that'll that'll be quite positive um, and I would expect that those numbers will increase it's a good looking ship isn't it you know a good looking ship it is a good looking ship I don't care whether you think it's a good looking ship or not I say it's a good looking ship uh, let's look at the cash uh, we're up two billion and change so far this year that's not bad we're in May um, and uh, and I've got 11 million quid in the bank ready to waste on, on the next project. Uh, and the next project I'm going to do, before we even get to the bombastic intro, brace yourselves, because uh, that's going to happen. All right, so, uh, so I want to get that shipping line doing a little bit more, because it will help fuel uh, Rapture into ever more uh, sturdy amounts of growth. Uh, so we're going to bang in a couple of, uh, a couple of passenger, passenger routes here. I right, see, see how that worked first time. Yeah, it's not because I'm the magic man, although, you know, I am. Uh, it's more about the fact that uh, I pre-measured. And now looking at it, I kind of go, do I actually want it there or is there somewhere better it could go? Because going over here, I firstly, it's closer to the destination. You're going to need to change the angle a little bit. Um, but secondly, there's more expansion room over here. We can we can quite easily add it onto a onto a route. Uh, but if this doesn't take hold in the next couple of seconds, we'll go with pl back to plan A. Oh no, hold on. <clears throat> is this or is this not better? Well, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a steep old road. You're out of money. Uh, you're gonna have a steep old road to 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 conjure there in order to make that work. Is that where you want it? Uh, the, 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 the reason I ponder is because at some point there will be a rail line that comes down there and having a port in the way might not necessarily be the best thing to do. Um, also, City 17 shouldn't get too comfortable. The likelihood that it manages to stay as, as uh, lumpy as it is now is pretty flaming remote. Uh, yeah, just, just put it in. Put it in. There you go. Right, it's in. Uh, and then a bit of road action. Bit of road action. Should have pre-booked the road you wanted. That's, uh, yeah, you're just wasting everyone's time now. Are we going to be able to do this? Well, let's have a look. Yes, we are. 300 grand, 286, 285, 284. That's close enough. Uh, right, and then we'll, uh, we'll, well, actually, what's the catchment on this? Horrible. Okay. Uh, oh, well, yeah, they've moved straight in. They've gone like, I want to live here. Uh, City 17... Um, port well it'll do it's uh, it's maybe not the most glamorous name for it anyway that's number one I need to do some infrastructure on that uh, but uh, I'll do that in a minute and then number two is we're going to do the same again for Atlantis and uh, you've got this lovely lovely section of, of open coastline here which, uh, having pre-measured again, I know there is a spot where the port will take no problem at all. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I saw it, there it is. That's horrible. Okay, well, spin it around a bit. Uh, good. Right, there you go. Have it. Good. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's incredibly practical. And uh, and all of a sudden, I'm thinking, like, you really intended to only spend, like, a minute or two on this. And, and it, I think this is going to get closer to about 10 by the time you finish faffing around with it. Uh, yeah, okay, you can have that. 
and then uh, from there wiggle around a bit and uh, and head up here try and try and do it in a way that doesn't cost the earth would you no you don't want to do that all right well how about this you know this is i mean this is the future we're talking about so therefore sacrifices must be made half a million quid you are kidding me in fact i don't think we can get uphill quickly enough to make this connection yeah, see look it's 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 i've made it think and that's that's never a good thing all right okay well we're, we're just gonna have to do something else instead then we'll uh we'll do a bit of that yeah you can't align anything can you no and also you're you're burning a million quid on a on a real white elephant of a, of a setup here uh yeah okay right well take to the uh the the declination of height uh, tall par excellence here and uh, and just give it you know you know all oh, just a oh, ah, have some of that go on there you are yeah taste it smell it feel it and uh, embrace the goodness good right any more yeah yeah keep going all right good now bulldoze that again and then uh, get a road slap it onto there which you probably could have done originally given that you haven't actually changed the layout of anything here in the slightest don't rush it just take your time get it right okay all right, all right. All right. just it's so judgmental uh kill that grab this drag it up there everybody's completely happy and what was all that flattening in aid of oh you know time sport effort that kind of business right okay that looks mediocre and that's that's fine uh so in order to give this any kind of a fighting chance at success uh, we're going to need to route some uh, route some local traffic around here. Would you like to? Ah, I'm sure the terrain isn't that alignment collision. Uh, try doing that, and then uh, you know something something along here. See, like this. Nope, like there. That would be tremendous because you could potentially get some uh, some good housing build up going on. Again, you know, having having uh, flattened the heck out of Rapture. I, I really sorely want to flatten the heck out of everything now, and, uh, and probably will at some point. Uh, anyway, this is Atlantis. I've got to come up with a better naming convention. Port. Um, or, you know what we could call it? Atlantis. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's better. It's certainly punchier. Uh, right, now, we'll stick a, stick a bus depot on here somewhere. Bus stop. Station, whatever you want to call it. Hundred grand, all right, hundred grand's all right. I can I can go for it. Oh, 28 grand, however, that's that's magnifico. Right, I can't move the mouse. We're just going to have to wait for someone to arrive and make enough money for me to actually buy this. Thank you. There we go. Right, so this is going to be upper Atlantis. If anything, it's lower Atlantis, but this is going to be Atlantis, uh, Georgia, coastal. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's a good name. Uh, right, and then. Grab some of this. I don't pay back some loan. We're not going to spend much for a moment. Just keep paying the loan down any time you get the chance, Tiger. Uh, we're going to go from coastal. Oh, we could do quite an exciting route here. In fact, we don't even need a fresh route for this. Yeah, okay. So uh, so get rid of that line that you just started building because uh, you don't want that. Begins with L for line. Uh, kill it. All uh, right, what's new? We've got the Type 1 tram, uh, which is a good one, actually. The Type 1 will last you ages and ages and ages. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll keep you going long into the night. Uh, right, let's... Uh, ooh, uh, you're doing that. We appear to have another stop here, though. You could stop there. So after 14th Street, stop at whatever that is, uh, and then go to 3rd Street. Do we want to go to 3rd Street next? No, I don't think we do. I think after Sunset Street, we'll go down to the uh, to the coastal. Then we'll go up to Third Street, and then uh, and then back to coastal again. No, it's not particularly efficient. And then back to Sunset, and then out to Fourteenth, which should work absolutely gorgeously. I've managed to get Atlantis Coastal back to back there. Well, that's unhelpful. Coastal, yeah. Uh, sunset Coast, yes. Then third, you know, just you flipping. Atlantis, yeah, add 3rd Street, very good, and then back that way to Coastal, hooray, 
Does that look like it makes any kind of sense to anybody at all? Yes, it does. That's that's fine. Uh, what are we running on there at the moment? We've got two Macs on this at the moment. They're not the quickest thing, but I think they might be some of the latest uh, the latest pieces of technology we've got. Oh, no, hold on. We're going to have the Daimler. Now, the Daimler's good because it's a double-decker and therefore it's funky. Uh, however, we could go with the Leyland, which is way faster. Oh, it's very, very tempting. Its capacity isn't all that. Yeah, okay, do it. Uh, replace the lot now, please. Yeah. Uh, we can't hang around for for uh, progress. We've got to engineer it ourselves sometimes. And then, what else? Well, I want to buy another two on there. So this is Eldo Atlan. But, uh, I must have a depot somewhere closer than that. Must you? Well, okay, I don't have a depot any closer than that. Um, all right. Good. This was supposed to be quick. You remember that whole, I'll get this done before the intro. Well, that was complete rubbish. All right, you come here, buy robot, do this, and Leyland, we'll add another two. We won't buy another two. You'll buy another one and you'll be happy about it. There you go, I'll buy another two. Hush now. Uh, commuter, Intercity, I think it is, isn't it? Isn't it? An Eldo, uh, Eldo Atlantis. There you go. Right. That should pump in off uh, opportunity for traffic to uh, to make this port work. Uh, at which point we're going to need two of them. And we'll go from here. Oh, it's, it's thinking about it again. Yeah, and, and uh, there were a couple of suggestions as to why uh, it was always thinking about uh, routes that I was setting up. And it's possibly because the, uh, the additional terminal that I've got is inaccessible because it's in the wrong water. Now, so far, I've done this a couple of times, and it hasn't destroyed the game. So far. Uh, it could destroy the game, though. I'll hold everything. We could do this with one line instead of two. Would you want to? Yeah, it's not going to be massively profitable anyway. So we'll go Atlantis to uh, whatever I haven't renamed over here at City 17. So if we go City 17, then we might use the bridge on a regular basis, and that would be lovely. Uh, City 17 port, good, uh, and then down to Rapture, and then after Rapture, go back to the City 17 port. Please, in your own time, when you feel like it, I've clicked the button, everything should just now happen, and there you go. Good, okay, yeah, we use the bridge all the time, excellent. Uh, right, okay, so this is a multi-stopper, it's quite dramatic, one might even call it a cruise liner. Uh, and one is going to call it a cruise liner. Uh, cruise uh, Atlantis uh, yeah, City 17 and Rapture. Okay, good. It's catchy, I'll, I'll admit. That's a, you know, I mean, that's one of the catchiest names I've come up with in the last couple of minutes. So uh, that's, that's all good. Now, I'm probably going to need to rinse the bank account a smidge in order to, to put some ships on that. Because we're going to want a couple, at least. I'd say probably three. If not more. Passengers. What do we got? Steamship Ferry is... Uh, it, I mean, the Steamship Ferry is, is obviously modded in, which is why it goes a heck of a lot faster than what we're supposed to be. It's like 17 miles per hour versus 29 miles per hour. Yeah. Well, I'm not I'm not going to complain too heavily about that. I want three of these, please. One, two, three. There you go. Set line on the cruise. I mean, that's... I mean, it's that is overkill. I mean, significantly overkill. Uh, there's there's no way we need that many, um, but you know we've got to show willing, and uh, and so that's exactly what we're showing, lots and lots of willing. Right, where are you heading? You're heading to Atlantis. Now, if this is good, the next one will head to City Seventeen, and the last one will head to Rapture. You're going to City Seventeen, excellent. And is the last one going to Rapture? Go on, City Seventeen. No, I want to send you to somewhere else. How do you do that? You should be able to do it, though, right? You you would have thought. Go to there. No, that's that's just me looking at it. Uh, if I turn you around, there you go. Hey, everything's working, kind of, sort of. Right. We'll now leave that alone and turn our attention to airports. Now, to start with, uh, and uh, those of you who hate the uh, the cheap smoothing tool. Ah, you're gonna need to. You're gonna need to suck it up because uh, I'm gonna be using it. So the uh, the main objective in doing airports is to be able to rebuild 
Uh, the most fantastic airport ever seen by anyone at any point at any time in the universe. Uh, and that's going to live around here somewhere. So I'm probably going to nuke all of this lot, flatten the heck out of it, and uh, and then we'll... Dip. The only thing that I'm doing this time is that I will start by building the airport and then we will endeavour to get the, uh, the rail over the, the flight path afterwards. I think that might actually be more difficult than what I did last time round. So that's going to be the new New York airport. We'll put another stop in there so that all of these... Uh, all of these transit routes between the various towns we've got here, they, they kind of meet up. And I think actually we could call this the kind of the, the birth point of, uh, uh, of the, the, this island network. Good. Right. You didn't take you too long to figure that out. Anyway, from New New York, we're going to go and connect up with the, uh, with the Holy Trinity. Uh, because we haven't looked at them for a little while. And a couple of people have said, could we have a look at the Holy Trinity? And I go, oh, all right. Then. And here it is. It is wood. Well, I mean, it's it's nicely developed. That's for sure. Let's let's get some of this icons off the map here. Uh, so we can actually have a look at the town. And then, yeah, so we go underneath all of this lot. And then we come back out over here. It needs a bit of a redev in order to flatten things out and just make them more practical. Um Anybody driving a car here is going to get absolutely splattered by trains driving through them. And that's adequate, I suppose. Uh, there is a train here somewhere. There he is. Uh, he's just uh, just zipping up to, I'm going to say, Caprica. <laughs> and I'm right. Uh, there we go. So coming out of Caprica with a full load. Makes a bit of cash, but not very much. And the problem is that it's a really short route. So running a proper passenger consist like this is always going to be expensive, um, uh, comparatively. This is your, your multi-unit special. This is you want nice little cheap commuter services. Uh, you know, when I was uh, tinkering around uh, post-recording an episode not so long ago, I, I, I slung a couple of extra vehicles on here uh, and it doesn't make any money. So it runs full all the time, but the distances involved are, are such that it's just not it's not really economically viable. Does that mean we're going to stop using it? Heck no. No, no, no. We'll keep that in. Uh, and I'm jolly glad that I built... I mean, as you can see, this is your proper urban rail network bit going through here. Incredibly expensive to build, uh, but worth every penny. Anyway, um, in order to make Shermer a little bit more appealing to those who might come into the area, we're going to start right here. Now, I should, I should point out right now that I was tempted to skip this and just show you the end result because it's going to be properly messy. Uh, repay that lot, please. Um, yeah, this is this is not going to be an attractive attractive piece of construction that is about to occur here. Uh, for those of you who have witnessed the uh, the magnificence of the cheating smoothing tool previously, you kind of know what to expect. Um, for those of you who have not witnessed, I'll just scroll through this endlessly. Uh, for those who have not seen it before. Yes, it's really not good. It's this is going to look horrendous, and I'm going to end up. What's this? Ah, it's a, a bazooka schwein. Oh, good. What does it do? Oh, well, I don't know, but uh, uh, Spiegelbauden und is nicked. Uh, Entfernbar. Oh, bum. That's that's most unfortunate. Well, okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll steer clear of the uh, the pig monsters for the moment. Here we go. Wrecking ball. Right. No, hold on. Is it really? No, it's a bulldozer, you Charlie. Uh, right. I want to build it, if I can, please, game. And I'm looking at you, Bridge, because you might not make it. Just letting you know. I'm going to try and build it on the same level as the, uh, as the existing bus stop. We're going to have to get rid of this bridge. All right. Pause up. Uh, right, okay. Give me some, just a, sm a minor amount of slush fundage in order to make this happen. The reason I'm getting rid of the bridge is because it's not going to work. Uh, when we smooth all of this out, I'm going to need to rebuild a whole a whole ton of stuff. All right, well, you've you've got a station in exit there, and you you've just sealed that bus into its into what I assume is going to be its demise. Now, hold on, we'll we'll move the bus this way. If I get rid of that, now you can't. No, you've You've pooched it. Okay, well, well, it'll it'll just be what it is then. Well, maybe if we, ooh, maybe if we go for something else, you can always place the bus stop again. All right, okay. All right. 
The reason for pontificating on this subject is I'll, I want to get the uh, the levelling of this correct. I'm just going to do a tiny, 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 small amount to start with and uh, and see how that looks. Right, that looks fine. Looks fine. We haven't submerged the road too much. That's going to be grand. Uh, you're probably going to want to rebuild this to level it out some. Uh, but other than that, it's all good. Okay, right. So we've got our level. We're going to use the end piece of road here as our uh, as our marker, and then we'll we'll head out this way some. Now to say that this is going to make for quite a large cliff is is a radical under understatement. See, I mean, I haven't even gone very far there, and we've already got uh, uh, an appointment with the traditional smoothing gun uh, that needs to be made. Uh, if you want to speak to the nurse in reception, she'll sort that out for you. Uh, right, okay, let's go over to here. Yeah. Now, I've got no clue as to the orientation that I'm going to put on this, other than I'm going to smooth out a massive chunk here so that uh, I can put a, a proper size, you know, full-on airport in here. Okay, all right. Yeah, I think we can make this less horrible eventually. Let's see how much more space we're going to need. Small freight airport. Oh, no, I've got that mod installed now. Ah, I'll be fine. We're not using air freight. There's nothing wrong with air freight. As a mod, it works absolutely fine. I just don't like it. There you go. That's, and, uh, why don't you like it? Uh, because it doesn't do freight properly. And, you know, and, and that's... It, it's kind of... It's not bodged in. It works. It's just it doesn't work in a way that I like. Okay. That's really flimsy, you know. Yeah, I know, but there it is. And, and I make the rules. Not you. You know you're talking to yourself, right? Uh, okay, now then, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on the assumption that I can actually get a flight path that will work with this. Uh, you, you're possibly going to need to remove some of the track there. Okay, all right, fine. Really? How far are we going with this? We're going a long way. Okay. I mean, you know, all of this that you're doing here is just going to make for more cost with the... Uh, with some real smooth, with the real smoothing afterwards, have we submerged? Have we sunk the track there? I think we rather have, haven't we? Oh well, I'll, I'll fix that when we get to the fix it stage. All right, airports. Let's be avenue. Unable to align terrain. That's that's a total lie. You can totally align the terrain. I've built you so much pre-aligned terrain here. Anyone could look. What's your? It's the flight path. Doesn't, uh, doesn't take too kindly to it. Now, if I can get that connected up to here, the, the two be benefits we're going to get from this, two, count them, uh, is are that we, yes, will. Mm, firstly, it's connected direct up to the, uh, to the traffic hub here. And therefore, uh, getting some passenger interest should be emphasis there on, uh, on not entirely certain this is going to work. Uh, but it should be uh, relatively straightforward to get this working. Yeah, that's big talk. Um, uh, but the second one is actually the better one, is that with all this flattened out area, we should also, again, should, uh, we should also end up having a, a significant number of, uh, of AI folk move into the area. Uh, as they uh, as they have high expectations of it being a, a, a splendid place to live, and it's definitely easier to place your house here than it is out in the, the rocky hillside rubbish. So you know, there's there's numerous reasons to be optimistic that this is going to lead to something positive. Right, next up, well, uh, borrow. Yeah, I'm going to give you a two million quid budget for this. Set brush strength to high. Do some of this. You realise you haven't placed the airport yet. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, place the airport before you start demolishing bits of ground that you later have to change your mind about. So you were quite... No, you you haven't put in the bit that you meant to. Bus stop. All right, okay. Well, if we put the bus stop in here... Yep. We might want to upgrade that to trams later on. Uh, the, the, I mean, the, the number of passengers, potentially, that you're going to get out of this uh, will make a, a tram stop there really, really pay off. Now, move that as close over there as you can and pay the money. 
Okay. All right. Airport number one. It's a beauty. It's only a little one, though. So, you know, later on, when we want to expand it, we won't be able to. But that's fine, because I've got no intention of running anything other than Dakotas on here anyway. Uh, when we get to Dakotas. Obviously, at the moment, we, we don't have them, so, uh, so we won't be doing that. Uh, but later, we will have them, so we will be doing that. All right, let's, uh, let's fling the track up here, just so that we've got the, uh, the area blocked off. What are you doing? I'm, I'm blocking off, mate. All right, why are you electrifying? Well, it, it, I have known electrification to cause trouble later on, perhaps, a bit. Okay. All right, fine. I'll tell you something else. Yeah. The only place you're going from here is Ankh Morpork. Yeah. You don't need you don't need both sides to be operational for this. You can you could turn that side into a termini. Oh, well, okay, that's dramatic. Well, you do have a flair for it. Okay. All right, cool. All right, we'll leave that alone then. And I didn't think that was going to work somehow. Can we get over the bit of road there? No. How how far can we actually go before we're colliding with the airport? I assume it's right up to the fence. New road. Yeah, we that, that bridge is not going to fly uh, figuratively or indeed literally. Uh, and therefore, we shall... Uh, we'll have another swing at it and see if we can't do it a little bit better. Uh, right. So, how are you going to do that then? Well, let's... Firstly, let's see if we can snap a bit of road in here. You can, but it won't. It won't join up to there. Uh, okay. All right. Well, look. I mean, you know, needs needs must. All right. We'll we'll bang a bit of road right along the edge of the uh, of the runway. Now it won't connect up to that junction segment there, but we'll we'll be able to deal with that later. But what we will be able to do is quite easily pop a wheelie over this, uh, like. Yeah, don't don't use don't use precision height adjustments now. This is a time for uh, for robust uh, multi height changing of the guards type stuff. We'll use the red bridge because at some point about eight episodes ago, someone requested that we use the red bridge. So there you go. I've done that. Uh, tick that one off. Uh, right, and then well, wiggle it to there for now, and that'll be that'll be fine. And then we could probably create some sort of junction at here that goes around like that. That's horrible. Thanks. Get rid of this. Just take the direct route. All right. There you go. That's not quite as horrible, and you've got a bit of building space on both sides. So that's that's very, very glamorous indeed. Uh, rather like myself. Now then, I've still got one cut-off route. Now, at the moment, it's heading down here and then wending its way around the side of the mountain, which is, I mean, it's beautiful, but uh, is also terrible. Uh, so we'll... Uh, well, we'll we'll muscle our way out to here. Now, I'm going to give the AI a fighting chance of doing what I want it to do. Uh, which is, I, I think you'll agree, most magnanimous of me. Um, but we'll we'll just uh, we'll set up a bit of road network, and then I'll go one further, and I'll even bung some uh, uh, some extra goodies on there in terms of a, a bit of a commuting option and that kind of that kind of jazz uh and we'll see if see if johnny ai decides to bite at all uh what would make this that's a lovely piece of not straight road isn't it oh have you heard of the word parallel look it was i was trying you were you i was definitely trying to make that parallel uh, but uh, the game did not want to stay parallel the game has an affinity for really wiggly roads yeah, I know it does. All right, so don't criticize me. Or as the young folk are, are, are wont to say these days, don't at me. Okay, what does that even mean? It does. Right, okay, now then, let's... Uh, I don't, have I got enough room to do the, uh, the, the level crossing trick? There you go. If you cross road over itself... It then it, all of a sudden it then kind of goes. Oh, you would you'd like to uh, you'd like to run properly perpendicular, would you? And you kind of go, yes, please. Uh, and at the same time as being perpendicular to the road you're coming off, I would also like you in parallel with the airport. Okay, good. That's that's come out all right. Uh, if we can get some AI action on there, that's going to look properly good. 
all right, uh, I'm prepared to spend a couple of million on, on smoothing this out, but not yet. We'll get some, <laughs> we'll put some stuff on it first. Uh, I really want to do that bit. I really, really... You can do that bit as a reward for finishing off your first air route. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. We'll do that then. Also, to keep us cheap for the time being, see, that is that is anything but cheap, uh, we shall run this on the existing route. I was thinking of doing a, you know, a straight line to, to catch the corner there, but... There is more work than that to be done on that section. Anyway, that is uh, new. No, Sherma. Sherma Airport has been created. Hooray. Let's give it a good name. Sherma, wait for it, Airport. Ooh, everybody. Uh, and this is, no, you, you've already used international on a port, so you've got to come up with something else. Uh, this is going to be Sherma Air. terrible name right fine good your, your naming schemes have all run aground here tiny uh, what are you what are you gonna do I, I thought for a moment there was a train on the road going, oh have i built inception uh right okay so that's Sherma dealt with now new york as well as being a little bit inaccessible is actually pretty close uh, yeah, no, okay as the crow flies it's quite close uh let's take out another couple of million thank you because you're gonna spend it and then uh, clear the decks. Oh, ah, you, you, that quarter of a million you blew through there, you probably didn't need to spend that. But hey-ho, it'll be fine. Now then, where are we going to stick this? We need it on this approach here. Now that's fun. Or oh, this one. Oh, no, you've got to get it right. Oh, no. Well, otherwise you're taking off under a bridge. No, no, that's not true. Okay, go on, tell me what you just worked out. Or tell the people at home what's inside your stupid head. It's very simple, really. Uh, if it turns out that the planes are landing from the bottom of the screen upwards, right? so we have got this the wrong way around, then I shall just have the track on the bottom end of the island instead of the top. I think it's this way, though. Why do you think that? Because when you built this before weren't you over here yes so you would have yeah okay so you would have had the road on the left so it was closer to town okay it's that i mean it's that's an assumption but you know it there is some there is some logic to it now we're gonna have to avoid that bit of water there otherwise i'll crash the game and everybody be sad no no one more so than myself um all right now then pick an altitude well, I think we'll go with the altitude of the rest of town. That's, uh, that's a bold piece of thinking. Uh, right, okay, from there. Yeah, okay, first off, we'll do, a, we'll do a strip here and then see if that's going to be wide enough and then we'll, we'll work on making it long enough. Is that going to be wide enough? Flipping should be. Okay, right, yeah. And... Yes. Now, you've already spotted, you've done something that you're going to have to do something very odd with roads there, Sam. Uh, and I kind of go, yeah, I know that. I know that. But uh, but odd with roads is, I mean, that's, that's my stage name. So, uh, keyboard player, see. <laughs> uh, keyboard joke. Good, good. Oh, you, you, you show true, uh, true hinterland there. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, right, okay, bash this in. Yeah. No chance that's going to fit already, but let's let's check that we're still somewhat on target. You're going to need a little bit more uh, a little bit more length that way. If you're going to, go, of course, you're going to go for uh, uh, for a recreation of the greatest airport approach ever seen by anybody ever at any point anywhere. Uh, okay. Now it might be, and you should all brace yourselves for this. It might be that we don't fully recreate the greatest airport approach ever seen by anybody anywhere at any time now this will not be through a lack of trying it might simply be that uh, that that was but a moment in time and uh, and it has been uh, lost like so many tears in the rain with your attack ship off the shot oh careful no reset no you see i've done that before and it's and that has crashed the game no 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 press the correct button thank you uh what yeah yeah it might be that we just can't do it, it, it 
we'll get close, I'm sure, but I suspect it is not going to look anywhere near as dramatic or polished as we had it before. Uh, because, I mean, as much as it was sort of, in, it was intentional, it was also a flipping great fluke. So, uh, you know, brace yourself, manage your expectations accordingly. Now, if I stick that over there, we can't touch that bit. And I'm very tempted to uh, to issue the save game command about now. But okay, no, we'll risk that. Okay, level it. There we go. No more. You can't go any further that way. You can smooth that out to make it work. But uh, yeah, I know. You, you can say it's cowardice if you like. And that's because it is. I don't want to crash this. And I don't want to have to interrupt my flow, all right, which is very important to me, uh, to... Uh, you know, to put a save game in. Right, and then something like that. No, no, you have to switch back. Which, you know, is awkward, but is also a really helpful safety feature. Right, and like that. Level. Good. If that doesn't fit, I don't know what will. There you go, it fits. Does it fit as you want it to? I think you want to get over here as much as you can so that city limits are not a million miles away from uh, from where you're building. So you want to do just a smidge more. Hopefully you won't have to go any closer to the coastline. Uh, like that, like this, like so, like that. Are you happy? Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be close. Closer than I'd like. There you go. Get in there. Get in there. Where will you fit without making a fuss you can go here can't oh nope i managed to get another pixel in there how about here all right what about coming this way nope not allowed all right okay well i guess it is what it is with the hold on you don't have to go that you see i mean you can still do this and it will that will pan out just fine but honestly i think i think the the, the straightness that you had previously will probably do um, wonders for all of us right about there I feel sorry for you people you thought you'd made it and uh, and I'm about to excommunicate you so uh, I, I apologize in advance right you can't go burning everything on smoothing yet yeah you can do that though can I well you you can do that if you want to but you're not got a money you're just going to shred your bank balance before you've actually got things finished. Right, so we're going to change this into being uh, big, hefty, four-lane uh, streets. Uh, the reason for using big, hefty, four-lane streets is so that, well, firstly, it allows the AI to build houses there. Please, AI, build some houses here. Uh, but secondly, it what? It will allow the capacity of stuff that I need the capacity for. You didn't have a second reason, did you? You just made that up. Uh, right, let's smooth that side down a bit. Yeah, that's the money gone. Right, borrow some more. It's fine, I've got, I've got some left. You do still have to buy aircraft. I may still have to buy aircraft, but that's, you know, what money's for, is the, the purchase and, uh, and abuse of aircraft, which is what's going to happen soon. Uh, right, and then we'll switch to the smaller stuff again oh, for the interior... Uh, you see, I'm now starting to think like, okay, we're about done with today's episode. And uh, are you going to make them wait until the next one before you run a plane? Uh, and uh, an experienced people going, oh, you, but you are a bad person. Or are you going to run a plane this time and go, we'll just have to see if it works next time. I think, I think that's what we're going to do. Because then you can play forward by a month or two. And... Uh, and figure out any kinks in it, fix those, and make it look like you got it right first time when you start off. Well, that's cunning. Do you think they'll catch on to that? Well, since you've said it out loud, yeah, I think they possibly will. Uh, well, okay, your house is, I'm afraid, no longer welcome in this establishment. Oh, why? Because you're in the way of progress. There you go, and progress won't let anything be in the way. Uh, how does that look? It doesn't look great. It doesn't, does it? Uh, a bit more, bit more time and effort spent on uh, on smoothing the hillside there would, wouldn't go amiss. All right, later. I'll do that later. Okay. 
because you, you we want to we want to build stuff now right this is going to be new new york uh airborne i know i you, you heard me say it i felt like putting an exclamation mark in there but then decided against it at the last moment which is uh which is astute and then we're going to need a uh, a bus station here i'm going to put in captain swanky pants here because why the heck not uh and also, I can feel this turning into a tram route. Although that would be premature, given that we're about to start running trains down here. Yes. All right. I don't, don't, the pause for thought there was uh, a, a moment of me going, well, you could put the rail station here, and then it's all really in close proximity. And then you went like, but you're doing a flyover? And you kind of go, oh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, right. Uh, place your bets, incidentally, as to whether I've got this the right way around or not. Uh those of you with memories will go like, no, you had it facing the other way, if I had it facing the other way. Uh, those of you without memories, uh, but want to win anyway, will go and look at the old video and go, no, you had it the other way around. It's not going to work. Yeah, see, I know. You you can't you can't catch me out with your commenters' ways. Uh, right, New New York to Los Santos here. We're going from Birch Street, which is somewhere. Uh, that's... Hillcrest. Hillcrest is out in Los Santos. So we'll go via that on the way back. And I'll go, well, that's convenient, isn't it? I go, yes, I am forcing you to go via the airport because I'm a total swine. And then uh, in order to up our possibilities a little further, uh, what are you? You're NVEG. New, uh, New Vegas? Certainly could be. Hold on, where's Oak Street? It's going to be Birch Street, you fool. Uh, after Birch Street, swing on out to uh, the airport and then come back to Birch Street again. Sooner or later, people will go like, oh, yeah, that's totally the way I wanted to travel. They will. They will. It will. Th that'll happen. Right, okay, so that's brooting some traffic there. We've given the AI a bit of a bit of a nudge in so far as you could build houses here. Yes. I'm going to new call of this lot and uh, and then flatten this out a little but we're going to need to wait until we've got the uh the it's not going to work train line in there so uh, so that's good right okay going from upper new new york no that's that's not where we're going from going from the airport new new york airborne ah, it's the wrong way round look if you were going to fix it oh, crumbs we're going to fix it yeah no, I want to do it the right way around. There you go. Those of you who said I got it the wrong way around were correct. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, get rid of that as well. Yeah, and that. Okay, let's do this all. Because if you're going to do it, do it. No, I am going to do it. Well, do it then. Uh, right, smoothing tool. There you are. Get rid of that. And then really hope that this fits. Really, really hope that this fits. All right, okay. I can't stress enough how much we need this to fit here. There we are. That's fit. Okay. And actually, this this does work out a little bit better because it's uh, it's closer to the city. Uh, right. Half a million quid. Oh, well. Whatever. All right. Put some roads in. That was actually somewhat less p painful than I anticipated it being. Uh, right, you connect up onto that. Yeah, that's good. We already know that the AI's got an appetite for building on that bit, so that's not so bad. Uh, if we run... Ugh. No! Wrong button. There you go. Do it again. Uh, if we do this... No, no, look, you haven't learned anything, have you? Uh, grab that. Bring it out this way. Take it over there, and you might get a little bit of fine control to, to make enough space. So I'm hoping we can get, you know, some light commercial or something in there. Uh... But, you know, the AI will decree what is and is not possible. You call it AI. I mean, that suggests that a level of intelligence that I don't believe it possesses. Uh, I think it's just belligerent. I think, I think it's just it's just the hate machine. That's what I should call it. The, uh, the city-building hate machine will decree what is and is not possible. Right. That's a terrible place for a bus stop. You also can't get Captain Swanky Pants in there. You're going to have to you're going to have to think about something else. Will it fit in here if I do a bit of smoothing for it? Yes, it will. It's going to cost you a quarter of a million. I don't care about that. All right, good. Did you inherit? I didn't. Oh. All right, talk to me. Come here. Right, that one, this one. 
can't connect to all the stations. I know that's because I killed one of them. Uh, up in New York. Go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go to here. All right. Now, you're going to have a bit of overlap there between the, the different bits and pieces, but uh, but it should be it should be okay. It, it should be. And then, uh, you go here. Yeah. And get rid of that. And then you go here again. Good. I'm pretty sure that that's right. It doesn't feel right, though, does it? Does it? It maybe don't. No, no, no. Ashley, that feels okay. Okay. Now, theoretically, that's given us all. Oh, look, that's given us three buildings worth of catchment there. It's going to work. Like gangbusters work. All right. Okay. Now, let's put the uh, let's put a route in. And I'll tell you something else. I'm going to be unimpressed if the route I'm attempting to build here is... Well, what have you done? No! Oh, no. No, no. I had it right before. Or is it just going to change it up every time now? Yeah, that seems plausible. Uh, all right. Well, well, we'll run with what we've got. And if I have got it wrong again, I'll, uh, I'll spin it around while you're not watching. To, uh, to save us all from being humiliated. Yeah, not just me, you understand. Just, you know, all of us. None of us should be humiliated by this. Can I send it the other way? How would one reverse the course? There you go. Yeah. No, that's, that's wretched. And also, some of you are about to tell me that, well, if you were to look at the, uh, the runway there, wouldn't that kind of give you an indicator of which the correct way around was? To which I say, shut up. Uh, right, okay, let's let's run it and see what we get. Um, and in fact, also, you know what else? Uh, this is going to be uh, NNY uh, shum. Shum? That's smur. Okay. Uh, SHM. Because we're going to use we're going to use international. Uh, 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 airport codification for this. You're coming up on 50 minutes. Yeah, all right. What about it? That's that's a lot longer than you anticipated this episode taking. Uh, right, we've got the Yonkers, and we've got the Dornier Mercur. We'll go straight for the Dornier, and we'll, we'll buy... I'm going to need some more money. There you go. And we'll buy three. One, two, three. More than I need. And we're going to sling those on that... And uh, we're going to watch it go, and I'm going to sign out of this episode and say, we'll catch up next time and figure out if this worked or if it didn't. And what? No, there isn't. This It doesn't work this way. I was just going to say, to avoid having the, uh, uh, the, the ignominity of it not working uh, the correct way around, I won't rebuild it. Uh, we'll we'll con uh, confine, confine, condemn, commit... Uh, the greatest landing ever seen by anybody ever uh, in an airport approach sense. We'll commit that to the annals of history. And, uh, and we'll just settle for what we've got here. Well, it's jolly disappointing, has to be said. Uh, but uh, but there it is. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let's get it to the point where it might actually take off. And we'll, then we'll see what we'll see. Uh, but, uh, but getting a train line in here is definitely going to help. Uh, the other thing that will help is having a third airport set up uh, that will uh, that will drive further interest in air travel generally. It will, probably. All right, slow down. Slow down. That's glamorous. There you go. Planes. Bit of hillside going on there. That's all good. Shame it's facing the wrong way. I've been Colonel Failure. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Have I got it facing the right way? Well, yes and no. Uh, yes, in the sense of it's actually hooked up townside. Uh, so it means that there's a, a reasonable chance we get some town traffic actually turning up there of their own volition, rather than having to be ferried direct to the front door. However, we have got it facing the wrong way in order to get the magnificent uh, airport approach set up that we had last time around. So I think we're just gonna we're just gonna have to live with that because you know I've built the thing twice. I'm not gonna build it a third time. What's wrong with me? Um, anyway, uh, getting these airports to pay off it is not going to be too complicated because of the lack of connectivity that they've got via other means. The trick, however, is going to be to make sure that whatever aircraft we end up sending out and about uh, are running mostly full. And the, the main thing that's going to assist with that is time and connections via uh, buses, trams, trains, all of that jazz. 
and uh, and that will that will yeah it will gradually gradually take shape. Anyway, we'll do a bit more of this because it's all good, and then we'll start to think about building out those extra connections to make these as successful as they can possibly be.